everybody, my name is Seth Mora, as you know me. And today, I am going to be telling you a story, a tale with a giant. And one special boy who slayed the giant. Now, you may have heard of this story, but if you haven't, it's the story of David and Goliath. Now, David was a very young boy when he killed Goliath. And, to be honest, it's a miracle. Let me tell you a thing that David prayed in Psalms. It's Psalms chapter 23, and it's the entire chapter. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leaves me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He guides me on the path of righteousness for his namesake. Yea, though I shall walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepares the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. And thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Now, those are some pretty powerful words. If I do say so myself, which I do. And, you're not going to see this regularly. Like people, you and me. But you're going to see this with my pal, my buddy, my friend. Tommy. Okay, Tommy. Show's all yours. See you everybody. I'll be at I'll be here waiting. Goodbye. Thank you very much, Seth. Okay. So around this time, King David, well, future King David. Okay. King David right now at this point in time was a little boy. He was not a king yet. He didn't have wealth, power, money. He didn't have any of that stuff. Instead, he was a little shepherd boy. And just like any other shepherd boy, he tended to his sheep. Eat up, little sheep. You're not going to be big. And we won't be able to eat you. David was a good shepherd. He protected his sheep from wolves and foxes. Here. And he also defended his sheep from giant grizzly bears. Roar! I'm a giant grizzly bear! Well, you're not going to be here much longer. Oh, yeah! Really? Yeah! Yeah! And that's what David did. He was an ordinary shepherd boy, uh, an ordinary shepherd boy, in an ordinary place. But one day, but one day, his brother came. David, father wants you. Why? I'm tending the sheep. I'll tend them. I'll, I'll watch the flock. You just go on over to father. If it's that important, I'll go. So, David left his sheep and his brother started tending them. David arrived. Yes, father, what is it? No, uh, he's too young. I told you he couldn't be the one. No, he's precisely the one that God has chosen. Oh, Prophet Samuel. Yep, that's me. God has sent me, David. What did he send you here for? What did he send you here for? Why do you, you call me? David, kneel down. <laughs> God has anointed you. King over Jerusalem, uh, I mean, over Israel, when Saul dies. A few months, days, maybe even years later, 
Jesse, the father of David, told David to go take food to his brothers, which were at a campsite, because they were going to war with the Philistines. David! Yes, father? Go take some food to your brothers. Yes, father, I will. It was a long journey. David saw from afar off King Saul's camp, which he made his way towards in order to get food to his brothers. David, what are you doing here? You're not supposed to be here. Well, Father told me to just drop off some food. <sighs> okay. Take it and you get out of here. Okay? Okay. Didn't know what that was all about. Suddenly. <laughs> said a giant Philistine. Well, is there anybody here that will fight me? Ha ha ha! Forty days! It's been forty days! Ah, and not one of God's children! Not one! Not a single person is willing to fight me! Where is your faith? You don't have any! David turned around and he saw the mighty Philistine. Roar! King Saul then said, Somebody has to fight him. Anyone who kills this man will be a very rich man indeed. A very, very rich man. David went to his royal highness. Sire, I'll fight Goliath. You will? Yes, sire. <laughs> what can one boy do? What can, um... Huh. Well, what can one boy not do when he is with God? Hmm. Fine. You may fight him, but take my shield and my armor. It doesn't fit. The armor doesn't fit. Huh. Taking that off. Will at least take my shield. The Lord is my shield. David went. And he got five stones. And he marched along to face Goliath. I will fight you, Goliath, said David. Goliath looked around to see where the voice had come from. And he saw David. And he laughed. <laughs> you fight me. Don't waste your time. Don't waste my time. <sighs> You'll be dead in an instant, said Goliath. But David said, not if I can help it. David looked up at Goliath. He took the stone and he had it in the slingshot and he was swirling it around. And then... Goliath fell down. The stone had sunk into his head. David ran to Goliath. He ran and he ran towards Goliath. He took Goliath's um sword and he 
This death may not be appropriate for YouTube, so it is not seen or shown. But for the Bible's sake, I will tell you what happened. David ran towards Goliath. He took his sword and killed Goliath by beheading him. Now, it's amazing because that sword was basically like three times the size of David. Just saying. It might have been. I don't know. But it was a very big sword. And not many men could actually lift it. That's why Goliath had it. But David, with the strength of God, with God helping him, took the sword and killed Goliath. Now, thank you for watching, Seth. Let this story come back to you. Amazing. So amazing. That a little boy could kill a giant Philistine. A person who was far more superior in strength. Far more superior in size. And most likely faster at running. It was... Amazing. It was a miracle. It was the hand of God upon David. David grew up and he became a mighty king, killing over 10,000 people. It is truly amazing what God can do. In the name of Jesus Christ, God bless you all. I will say the ending prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, God bless all these people that are watching. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ. God, I pray that your move can be upon them. I pray, Jesus, that they would get the Holy Ghost and get baptized in your mighty name. Jesus. God, I pray for your love to be upon them. And I pray for your love to stick with them. In the name of Jesus Christ, this is what I prayed. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you all. I have another mess to clean up. Um, I will see you next time. Goodbye.